Massive Hater here. We got some breaking news from Waves Audio. Let's see what they're saying. Hello, I'm Mir Shashua, president and CEO of Waves Audio. Our accidental force subscription service was a tragedy that should have never happened. And to all those affected, I want to say, we are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. For those of you that don't know what's going on or if you have amnesia, Waves decided to make their plugins subscription only, meaning you can only get their plugins by subscribing and paying them monthly. You can no longer buy perpetual licenses. Anyways, I woke up this morning to find out they reversed their decision. Believe me, I would have seen the news regardless, but you guys flooded my comment section on my new video about the alternatives for Waves Audio plugins. Keep it up. You can keep doing it even after I finish posting this video. Maybe even leave it down in this comment section down below. All right, so they posted this earlier this morning. Important update, perpetual licenses and updates will be back alongside subscriptions. Thank God. I couldn't, I couldn't be f to do another video about this, to be honest. Following your feedback, we are bringing back the option to purchase and update Perpetual Waves plugin and bundle licenses. Let me translate that for you. Following your massive discontent and pushback, we are bringing back the option to purchase and update Perpetual Waves plugin and bundle licenses. Side by side with the new Waves Creative Access you subscriptions. Apparently perpetual licenses will be available again soon. I'm assuming they got to update their website. And then there's a letter from the CTO and co-founder. Over the past few days, many of you have expressed concerns about our decision to discontinue perpetual plugin licenses and our move to an exclusive plugin subscription model. I would like to start by apologizing for the frustration we have caused many of you, our loyal customers. We understand that our move was sudden and disruptive. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. It did not sufficiently take into consideration your needs, wishes, and preferences. We are genuinely sorry for the distress it has caused. You hear that right, boys. We won. We won. One thing I found funny about this was how quickly they did it. Like, it wasn't like, oh, we plan to do this in the next month or two or whatever. It was like, buy our perpetual licenses for a low, low price. And it's gone. Basically, the rest of this go just goes on to reiterate the same thing again. And they're bringing back the Waves update plan. So you can buy the plugins directly from them. And then they have the Waves update plan if you want to keep them updated. And then they also have the subscription as well, too, which is what they should have done to begin with, in my opinion. There's literally no one who likes being forced into a subscription plan. And it's not the same as Netflix. I swear to God, every time one of you guys comments that, I, I, I shave like two years off my lifespan. So please stop it. Anyways, I could translate that entire letter to you here. You guys were pissed that we forced you into a subscription plan, and we realized that we are not going to make it out of this financially if we continue to go with this. So uh, we rolled it back. Sorry. So put her there, pal. Put her there. Okay, so I have some conspiracy theories here. Not saying I believe any of them. First conspiracy theory. They want me to shave my eyebrows for getting 50k subscribers. So they want to help me along with that process by giving me a bunch of content to make. Other conspiracy theory. They did this all for free promotion. What are you talking about? I'm not scamming. If that's what you're saying. Your license plate says scamming. I'm not really a big fan of this conspiracy theory because, you know, if that was the plan, they probably should have brought it back a few days sooner. Next conspiracy theory. Uh, All right, next conspiracy theory. They wanted me to lose sleep and p potentially die sooner because if you don't sleep enough, you die sooner. Apparently, and that's, that's how it works. Other conspiracy theory here. Beat Juggernauts from my Discord came up with this one. YouTube was pissed off at how much they were f***ing up the algorithm. So they asked Waves to back off with this decision. Seems totally plausible, in my opinion. Okay, anyways, now we'll get into some of my opinions here about this. I'm gonna tell you how to feel. There's no other way for you to feel other than how I feel. So it's totally up to you if you wanna forgive them or not. Personally, uh, I'm in the middle with it. It's good that they rolled it back, but it's also kind of a, a warning sign that you know you can't really trust this company or probably any company i feel like any company could do this at any time they're all the same realistically i shouldn't say all they're all the same but the big companies are essentially all the same if they're a corporation they're like this it's all about the money at the end of the day and whatever makes them more money they're willing to do it if it makes us unhappy but it makes them more money they'll do it the only reason they didn't go through with this is because they literally could not there was no way they could survive it all the bad press there's no way they could make it through this i mean they had literally every single music production youtuber making a video about this even the ones that stick out of drama and negativity all the time they were making videos about this not sure if it was because of the views or because they were upset personally i fall a little bit in both camps i don't really care that much but i do think it was sh forgive me if i don't look completely 
completely awake. I slept like three hours. Anyways, feel, feel free to check out my Waves alternative video if you haven't. If you don't want to support Waves audio anymore, feel free to check that out. I have a bunch of alternatives in that video as well as a full list of every single one. I'm not really a big fan of the conspiracy that they did this for promotion. Like while it is possible, I do think they did more damage than good in the long run. I'm sure there's quite a few people who will view this as unforgivable. I'm sure there's quite a few people who will not buy Waves plugins anymore out of fear that they might do this again or just out of the principle. Now, one thing I'm curious about is how are they going to treat the customers that bought into the subscription model because they felt like they had to, but then now they're being screwed over by the fact that they brought back perpetual licenses. They should definitely offer those people refunds if they haven't already or be open to it at the very least. I feel bad for the intern that runs their social media accounts because they're definitely putting in overtime right now and they're like hiding so many replies they don't even they're like hiding the wrong ones even at this point so let's look at that really quickly here it's kind of funny okay so this was them apologizing and saying they're gonna go back to perpetual licenses right top hidden reply smart move those subscription sales must not be going as well as suspected that's not even a negative response one of the dumbest moves in audio history i mean dude just you don't even have to hide that really waves pr bingo you know they didn't have to hide any of these like it's not like there's a few bad replies and you're hiding those and like trying to keep it positive like they're they're pretty much all negative replies at this point like what are you doing anyways waves pr bingo deeply apologize we understand your concerns coupon slash discount code best interest something something time and energy i mean i think we got bingo already for sure i mean i can understand why they hid some of these but some of these it's just like what they're hiding people posting the alternatives Google sheet. To be fair, this one talks about them being an abusive husband gaslighting. Uh, you can fudge yourselves. That guy's not even swearing, man. We need to hide that one for. One theory is that they're using some sort of automation to hide negative replies, but it doesn't really make sense because some of the replies that are being hidden are not really negative or don't have any swearing or accusations in it. A credit for unnecessary subscription purchases, maybe. Yeah, hide that one. We don't want to give them any, any refunds. I mean, dude, some of these are not even very bad. This guy spelled criticism wrong. That's not correct. Two years too late. F you well i mean did they do this two years ago am i maybe i'm the one that's in a coma right now good as i've owned my licenses for decades i have no interest and let me remind you these are hidden replies they hid these hide this if you hate gay people <sighs> the waves in turn is fucking up dude so this is a hidden reply here as you can see the top here hidden reply you got enough controversy right here now man we don't need to be hating gay people too <laughs> I must just be hiding all replies. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my other Waves videos if you haven't. If you made it to the end of the video, comment Waves, Waves down below. For everyone who likes this video, I'll give you one refund. On what? I don't know. I don't, you're going to get a refund on something. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my second channel if you haven't. I'll link that down in the description. Check out my other links as well too, social media, Twitch channel, etc. If you want to support the channel, consider join my Patreon or become a channel member. I'll see you guys next time.